currently looking for a black dress for a sweet 16 and some other things. So I just I decided to start tomorrow's vlog here. Why not? You guys always say that you want to see me vlog in public more, so here we are. Um, I'm currently looking for some crafts. So yeah, let's see what I can find with a limited amount of money. Oh my god, look what I found. Fuller House dolls. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my god. I hate when people walk past me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out the dollar section and then I'm gonna go get a black dress. It's so awkward. I hate you guys. I'm in the crafting aisle trying not to spend too much money, but I found these square canvases for $1.70, dollar fifty, actually. And I know exactly what I'm gonna make the make with these. I've had them before and I made these really cute pieces, but I sold both of them, so I wanna recreate those. So that's cool. And then also they have this they have this um succulent kit and I really want it. Also they have Lord DIY here and the last Lord DIY kit I did was a disaster. But that doesn't mean I don't want to try the other ones because I do. Alright, let's go check out the dresses and then dollar section. Yeah, let's go. I'm not seeing any black dresses. No luck with a black dress. Okay guys, so I just got home from a long day of shopping and just living my best life. It was a really good day. Um, we got Starbucks at like 9 o'clock at night. I got a venti um, passion tea, which these are my favorite drinks to have in the summer. Um, actually, it's one of my favorite drinks in general. Getting down to the last sip here. That makes me sad. Oh, I love Starbucks. Okay, Starbucks is like the best um, thing in the world. Okay, anyway. So I went to Starbucks today. I went to Target. Um, we did a lot of shopping. I had to look for a costume for Pinocchio and um, a dress for my friend's Sweet 16. Partial luck with the costume, no luck with the dress. Um, now, as you can see, I do have black dresses lined up on my um, bureau behind me there's three I know you can kind of only see one but there's three um, we did not find those in the stores but my aunt was like talking to me and she was like what are you doing and I was like I'm shopping for a black dress and then she was like oh my god I have like three from like um, a couple years ago that I never wore and thankfully she had them in my size so thankfully she had those dresses so I went to her house I tried them on for her she made me try them all on even though I didn't want to try all of them on um she was she used to dress me up a lot as a baby so she was like try them all on so I tried them all on and showed them to her um we like I'll show you the one later that I think I picked um I'm down to like two out of the three one of them is just like solid black with some ruffles I'll show you the one that I'm mostly leaning towards and then we'll see what I wanted wearing to the party anyway right now I want to do a haul for you guys um, so, why not? Let's do a little haul. Okay, so, um, at Target, I found so many things I wanted to buy, like face masks and whatever, um, and I really stopped myself and just stuck to what I went there for, but I did get some extra things because you had to. You just can't go into Target and come out with what you was on your list. Like, I can't. Like, it's a problem. However, I did get this adorable, like, office supply washi tape. It has, like, scissors, um, staplers, pencil sharpeners, eyeglasses, calculators, music notes, like, school things on it. And it was in this, um, dollar section, which they have all school supplies out now, but it's so cute. So I just had to get that. And then I also got these two, um, small canvases for $1.50 each. And I had to get these because I know what I want to do with them. And I, it's very hard to find um, square canvases. Like, honestly, that sounds stupid. But at Michael's, they don't have square canvases. I've never been able to find one at Michael's. And I've never, I don't really go to AC more because there's not one that's close to my house. Um, but yeah, they always have them at Target. So I had to get some. And I know exactly what I'm going to do with them. And I'm excited because last year I made these really cute things. And they sold out um, at my fair. So I'm very excited. Um, 
and then I got some paints too for a dollar so I got diva pink and like conquered grape it's the names of the colors and they're really pretty and they were two for a dollar so of course one thing I love about Target is some of their stuff is really expensive I love everything in Target though some of it is really expensive um but like their crafting supplies are like very like cheap and like really well priced so I really love that um, they don't have a ton, they have like a couple aisles, but still. And then also I found this really cute red bathing suit, but my mom didn't like it because it was like kind of lace and like kind of re was very revealing or whatever. <laughs> so she didn't let me get it. I was kind of mad, but it's okay because I did get a bathing suit, just not that one. Oh, um, I got a black tea because I like tea. And then I did get a bathing suit. I did get this black, um bathing suit which is pretty cute it's just a black bathing suit and then it, it goes around your neck like this and there's a black um bow in the back and it's pretty cute it's just black and black makes me look skinnier it's just a one piece because i don't really wear bikinis um and it's pretty cute it's kind of small on me um i did try it on it's a little bit small on me so that kind of sucks but it is what it is it was so cute i couldn't pass it up next i got some gold glitter for are you ready for this 88 cents um at Michael's, these are like at least $1.99. Target, I love you. So I got some gold glitter because I need it for um, my set design pieces. I'm going to put glitter around the words. So I got some gold glitter. I hope it's enough. It should be. but it, And I, was, I wanted to get silver, but I couldn't find silver. So then for my Pinocchio costume, we're supposed to wear a blouse with a skirt. Um, so I got this black blouse that's um like has the buttons and then it has this tie thing on the bottom and then on the back it's a little lace um we do have to get our costumes like checked by the director so i really hope he likes it and doesn't have a problem with it because it took me forever to find that like they really didn't have a lot of blouses um at all because i don't a lot of people don't wear blouses or like mostly like older women or not like old but like middle-aged women like professionals wear like blouses like honestly i don't think they're not that popular so it's very hard to find any but i did find some and then that's the one i picked but they're very hard to find i hope he likes it um then i just got this coca-cola t-shirt because you know as if i don't already have enough t-shirts i have like too many t-shirts but i got this coca-cola t-shirt um it's super cute honestly i have one already but it's like literally see-through i think it's a pajama shirt um so i got one that's not see-through and like is really cute i just really wanted a new t-shirt okay the second bag um oh my mom got sponges okay i have to skip it to her um i got some sweet spicy chili doritos because i've been really obsessed with these lately I don't love spicy things, but these are really, really good. I have to drink them with water by my side, though, because they're very spicy. But I like these. These are very good. So I had to get a bag. Here I am again eating junk food. <laughs> anyway, then I got this circle plaque, which was like, I think, a dollar. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, but I have an idea, and I'm very excited. Um, the wood plaques there are really pretty they have one in all different shapes they had one that was like um the shape of the united states map they had one in like a heart they had a bunch of different shapes and they're very like good quality and they're very, they're all sanded and stuff and like so much cheaper than michael's the last two things i got i got two pairs of shoes because they were on sale so i got these um i think these are called like keds right guys but they're like a knockoff brand of keds but um I got these like slip-on Keds um, and they're so comfortable. They have like padding in the bottom and I just, all I've been wearing is flip-flops and then like to camp, I've been wearing sneakers. So I wanted some like comfortable shoes that I could wear out other than flip-flops. Um, so yeah, and like easy to put on. And then for my Pinocchio costume, I just got some black flats. Um, they're, that's such a weird that they're like striped inside. Usually they're just like black or white, but like, Anyway, so I got I just got regular black flats because um, my character shoes do not fit me anymore and they are kind of expensive to order new ones. They're like $40, um, so I didn't want to order new character shoes, plus I don't have time. Nothing would get here by Tuesday because I need my costume on Tuesday. So that's what I got, and it was very nice because for some reason lately, 
I had like a craving to go shopping, you know what I'm saying? I just was like, for the past couple days, I've been like, I really want to go shopping. I need to go shopping. Like, it was just like, I'm a shopaholic, which is not good because I could spend my money in one store like really fast. But um, I just got that, like, I was like, oh my God, I need to go shopping. Like, it was like, I need to go shopping. So my mom was nice to take me shopping. Thanks, mom. I love you. And um, I got some fun stuff and some cute clothes and some cute shoes so that's fun i have an obsession with shoes and if i could i would have like an entire closet full of shoes i actually only have like one two like seven pairs of shoes right now because i grew out of most of them but um yeah so it was a really good day i'm just living my best life hi guys so it's like 12 15 <laughs> it's like past midnight um so i'm gonna turn my phone off now and i'm gonna go to bed soon because i'm kind of tired and i don't want to stay up too late because i'm gonna need energy for the party tomorrow also i just got a prank call and it was like they kept calling me and then they left me a message and it was a pr prank phone call and then they were like yeah i'm calling about the equestrian camp i'm like no this is the drama camp they're like no i teach people how to ride horses i'm like no um this is the drama camp and that was weird good morning guys so today it is Sunday, um, so you all know that tonight I have the Sweet 16 to go to. Um, I'm very excited, again, also kind of nervous, but um, mostly excited. Um, it's like 11.30 a.m. right now. I woke up like 20-ish minutes ago, which is weird because usually I sleep a lot later. But um, I do have a lot to do kind of to get ready for the suite. And, um, you know, I don't want to be late or be running behind. I have to shower, do my hair, do my makeup. I have to shave. Um, hopefully I want to redo my nails. I don't know if I'm going to have time for that, but they look really bad. So, story time last night at, like, 1 in the morning. Um... The fuel smell was back. So I was sitting in my room. My mom said, come here. And I was like, what? She was like, do you smell it again? And I was like, whoa, that is a very strong smell of gasoline. And we didn't know what to do because we still didn't know where it was coming from. But some nights it wasn't, you couldn't smell at all. Some nights it just wasn't that strong. And then some nights it was really, really bad. So we went outside because, like, if it was a gas leak within a house or around your house you're not supposed to stay in the house because it could explode or like you just could get sick from breathing in gasoline <laughs> so we went outside and we stood at the end of the driveway um and it's just a dangerous situation so we did wind up calling the fire department um it was kind of crazy there was two first responders um two cops the there was like a i don't know what they call it i don't know what they call it but there was a white van here with like tools to like test the gasoline or like see if it was gasoline or something um and then there was one fire truck and it was it was crazy and they came up obviously they had their lights flashing which was kind of annoying because it was like they were there for like 15 minutes they had to um check the houses um, like inside they had to check the gasoline levels to make sure it wasn't like dangerous inside the houses um, Well, like my house because it was like mostly outside of my house um, So they came in my house and I guess checked the levels in all the rooms. I noticed they knocked down I have like a dream catcher hanging above my door and they knocked it down <laughs> um, That was kind of funny. I noticed it was knocked down. And I was like, oh, they were in here um, But yeah that happened um they said basically the verdict was there was gasoline in the sewer drains or not like sewer drains like just the drains that are in the roads um outside of my house there's like three on my street alone one of them was covered in leaves i didn't even remember there was a drain there um which is pretty kind of not good because they're supposed to be cleaned out and stuff and whatever so basically we have to have like someone come and clean them out um but the fire department said that people were probably pouring 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 gasoline um down the drains why i don't know that's so dumb and so dangerous and so irresponsible um 
so then when everyone left last night the police sat in the road for like a couple hours after the department left and it was like what the heck why are they sitting there and my mom was like well probably one to make sure no one else comes and dumps gasoline down the thing and two because it could explode if someone drops a match or whatever and i was like damn that's some serious shit. i was like kind of scared but it was fine we're still here no explosions um there's no hazardous levels of gasoline inside our house so it's more of just like an uncomfortable smell and like uncomfortable thing to deal with until the drains are cleaned um so that's, that's a pretty quick crazy situation our neighbor came outside and was like oh my god what's going on because like our neighbor has cameras so they I guess the cameras were, like, going off or something because everyone was out, like, the whole fire department was outside, like, moving around and whatever. So, um, yeah. And then she was like, yeah, I do smell it. I was like, yeah. So it was kind of scary. I was actually kind of shaking because I was like, holy shit, like, it could explode, first of all. And, like, second, who the hell pours gasoline down drains as, like, just what it was crazy so then we went for a drive after that because it smelled so bad we came home oh okay, about like 2 or 2 30 and yeah um yeah so i'm gonna chill for like 20 ish minutes 30 maybe um how many hours do i have to get ready it starts at five like six hours to get ready all right that's more than enough <laughs> all right i'll see you guys in a little bit all right hi guys so it's now like noon i'm freezing cold for some reason okay but anyway so it's noon right now and um i'm about to start getting ready well like not like getting ready getting ready but like get getting ready <laughs> i don't know you know what i mean like i'm gonna shower even though I'm really tired, I'm gonna get in the shower now. Talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, I'm just out of the shower. We have a bathing beauty here. No, just kidding. I look really ugly um, right now. But anyway, so um, there was a lot of dry shampoo in my hair because I hadn't washed my hair in a couple days. So I'm glad that's all gone. And yeah, I love showers, honestly. Like, they're so relaxing and just, like, feel so good to, like, I don't know, get clean, I guess. It's just, all right, yeah, anyway. Now I'm going to chill on my phone for a little longer, um, and then as soon as I'm, like, dry, I'm going to brush my hair, and I'm going to do my nails, and then, yeah, um, also they took Pretty Little Liars off Netflix yesterday, and I was so upset, because when they said, like, July 27th, or June, July, yeah, I was like, oh yeah, they'll probably take it off, like, midnight or whatever, they took it off at, like, 6 in the morning, I was pissed because I was literally middle of like the season six finale. I was like, oh my God. So let me know if there's anywhere else you can watch Pretty Little Liars that you guys know of. Also, let me know in the comments Netflix recommendations because currently have like nothing to watch. So yeah, okay, right. see you later. So we're doing the nails. Um, I always wind up messing up my nails like by touching something so I'm literally trying so hard right now to not touch anything or do anything oh my god <laughs> but um doing my nails I am like really hungry it's 1 17 already um I didn't eat yet today so I'm like really hungry I'm gonna eat something soon mm -hmm. and um yeah as we get closer to the party I get a little more nervous but it's fine right and um so I'm gonna do my nails, um, probably makeup next or hair. Well, I don't have, all right. So yeah, I'm just doing my nails, watching some YouTube and hanging out. All right, okay. I'll see you in a bit. So I just brushed my hair. It's still so wet though. Um, I really hope it dries soon so I can straighten or curl it, whatever I'm gonna do. It's still like really wet and frizzy and ugh, but I don't have a hair dryer cause it broke. So um, I hope it dries like soon enough um we're gonna go out and get something to eat and yeah then i'm gonna come back to hair and makeup and basically go um now i have three black dresses that i was thinking about wearing tonight i think i know which one i picked all right so i'm gonna start doing hair and makeup now because we still have to go out and then when we get back i have to shave and get dressed and get my shoes on and you know like leave so i'm gonna start doing hair and makeup right now so 
let's do this all right so we got out i got what i needed to get i got nair hair remover because i don't have time to shave and also there would be razor bumps and flat iron perfection and then i got lunch i got a sandwich and a pickle and water and i'm kind of running late and i really kind of need to get ready so yes let's do this right now okay guys i am all ready so i just have to put on lip gloss before i leave but um i'm all ready i'm in my dress i did my hair and my hair hasn't looked this good in such a long time um there's quite a bit of product in it right now but it looks really good um i'll show you my dress now by the way um i shaved with nair wow like literally shaving could never um you can see the red dot in the middle of my arm that's my scar from my biopsy at least it's tiny but it's still there um just another battle scar there but um yeah so anyway i'm just eating my lunch now just have to brush my teeth get my shoes on with gloss and leave when it's time to leave so i still have about 40 minutes so i'm just gonna chill on my phone um let's show you the dress it is. so this is the dress that i wound up picking um out of the three so yeah i love how it has like the ruffles on the side and it's very like very good fitting and like hugs my body like just enough so it's very cute um very elegant and very me i feel like um i feel like there's gonna be a lot of people wearing tight black dresses tonight like there wasn't my sweet 16 everyone wore like tight black dresses but i don't like wearing tight black dresses or tight clothes in general so this is kind of well fitting but also just like more mm, maybe like mature I don't know. I feel like it's more mature, kind of, than, like, whoa, my closet doors are, like, literally falling off. I feel like it's more mature than, like, a tight, sleek black dress. I don't know. I really like it, though. Um, however, the ruffles on the side are kind of weird, because it makes me look like, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? However, my body's, like, here, and then the ruffles bring out, like, here, so it's kind of weird. I don't know. But it's cute, and this is the one I picked, and I really like it. It's really cute. So, yeah. I'll see you guys before we leave. We're leaving. I'm really nervous. I'm not gonna vlog there, but I'll vlog after. <sighs> the anxiety is kicking in, and I don't like this. <laughs> Alright. Let's do this. Let's have some fun, and... Yeah, oh my loves, I just got home, literally just got home from the Sweet 16. Um, it was a very fun, um, I didn't do too much socializing, but um, there wasn't really anyone there that I'm like close friends with, or like, I'm friends with people who were there, but not like close. Um, but I did chat up a little bit and had some good food, and I didn't dance because I'm very shy and reserved and don't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> But, well, I did dance a little at the end, but that's it. <laughs> um, anyway, it was a very fun party, a very good job. It was so pretty, all the decorations and everything. If you're watching this, Emma, good job with your party. It was amazing. Look at the cute little party paper. It's like a s'more, but like wrapped up and pretty. Oh my god, that's so adorable. And like, good idea. Like, I never would have thought of that. Um, so I'm going to do a, a dress down with me now and talk about the party. So, off goes the ring close my bracelets off goes my my glasses so i can take off my makeup almost out of makeup wipes but it was a very fun party um you get to see some friends i hadn't seen in a while so that was good and yeah you know my spandex and actually, I'm gonna put on pajamas. So I'm definitely glad I went. Definitely really glad I got invited. Um, it was fun. So that's a good. It was a good day. Oh, I'm literally changing on camera. Okay. Now we're gonna chill out. I'm tired. <laughs> Hi guys. It is at 12:20 right now. Um, so I'm going to end this vlog here because um, I feel like it's already going to be a pretty long vlog and it's already been an eventful vlog. 
So thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Make sure if you're not subscribed to my channel, please go down below and subscribe to join the hashtag RoguesFam and help me hit 200 subscribers before the summer is over. I know that we can do it. We're so close. Um, maybe even above, maybe even over 200. Um, I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you like this video if you want to see more vlogs and make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. Bye!